Hi, I'm Nick Hughes. I'm an astrologer and teacher. I've been working in this field for the last 10 years. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about various aspects of astrology. This is a brief um, guide to the history of astrology. Now, uh, the astrology as we know it today of 12 signs of the zodiac um, and the, the main planets came in many ways from the Babylonian times um, in the third millennium BC. And um, this kind of moved to Greece. Under the Greeks, um, a lot of the, the modern descriptions of astrology developed with the houses and the correlations between metals and crystals and parts of the body associated with the planets and the signs. Uh, and in many ways, astrology really flourished under the Greeks and they took that um, as well to the Roman and the Roman Empire, spread that in many ways across the, a lot of Western Europe. Uh, when the Roman Empire fell and Christianity came along, uh, much of astrology was uh, suppressed and inhibited um, because it uh, either contradicted um, what the priests um, saw, uh, what the Bible was teaching, um, and in, it didn't entirely dissipate. In many ways it went um, uh, underground or it was kind of frowned upon for, for quite a while. Instead, astrology went mostly into the Arab-speaking world uh, and the Middle East. Um, and there, from uh, the early um, centuries of the first millennia, uh, right up until kind of the Middle Ages, um, uh, most of the really in-depth uh, astrology was really taking place uh, in the Middle East. And due to um, increased trade and, in, and due to also the Crusades, there was much more intermingling of the Arab culture and the Western Europe culture. And a lot of texts were translated and so therefore a lot of astrology came back into Europe via the um, uh, translations of these Arabic texts and, and again it started to flourish much more in Western Europe. Astrology then flourished in um, the Middle Ages right up until uh, the 17th century when um, science, the birth of science was taking place and uh, there was an increased mood of uh, skepticism and wanting uh, empirical evidence for everything. And astrology suffered as um, empirical science was uh, strengthening in its power. But then in the kind of late 19th century and early 20th century, there was again a, a rise of interest in esoteric and occult subjects uh, across the world, particularly inspired by um, India and um, a lot of people coming back from India and a lot of the mysticism from the Eastern world. And this sparked a resurgence in interest in astrology as well. Uh, and that really carried on um, through a lot of the 20th century, the early 20th century. And, um, and then it picked up the psychological threads from Jung and Freud. And, um, and that continued a lot into the 50s, 60s and 70s. And so psychological astrology is probably the more recent um, introduction into the, the astrology traditions. Nowadays, there's a great deal of interest in going back through history and incorporating all of the astrological traditions from the Greeks, the Middle Ages, the esoteric and the psychological, uh, and trying to integrate all of these aspects of astrology into a more cohesive whole. And that's a very brief guide to the history of astrology.